Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to Terraria 1.3 with TRCW. As you can see, we are not in the Terraria 1.3 Let's Play world. We are at the title screen, because we are going to create a new world on normal... No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to our world, but we're going to be doing that in just a second, because I don't want to mess up the thing that's going on in the world right now, and I kind of want to record it so that you guys can see, because it's kind of a major event. So, what's going on? Well, there's a blood moon that came up while I was exploring the world. So we're just going to jump right in. We're going to try and fight off this blood moon, and then we'll get to the rest of the episode. Um, there's a bunch of things I've done, which I'll get... Wait. Oh, no. My spawn isn't set. Oh, no. This might be slightly difficult. Uh, but, yeah. There's a blood moon going on. And then I've got a bunch of things that I'll show you guys. Oh, that's a fast blood zombie. Don't know what that is. New blood moon thing. Okay, get away from me. Oh, man. Oh man, we are probably going to die here. Let's just jump over them and try and run back to our house as fast as possible. Because there are all sorts of new, new, ah, there's all sorts of new Blood Moon enemies. This is kind of unnerving. Um, dang it, come on, come on. But there's a bunch of things that we have to cover that we will get to in the rest of the episode after, oh dang it, come on. We're so close to being there. Oh, I can see the sunflowers. Heal up. You idiots. You idiot. Come on. You can make it. You can make it to our house. Oh, it's just in the distance. We're so close. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Get there. Oh, there's zombies everywhere there. Um, okay, now we have to actually get there. Okay. Jump in the door. They can break it down. Oh, man. But we're so close. Let's just get to the bed. Okay. Come on, come on, set the spawn. Oh, it's so close! Oh, okay, we made it. Okay, and now we can die in peace. But anyways, there's a bunch of things that have happened between last episode and this one that I will get to. There we go. Good thing we, we got to our spawn. I'll get to those um, during this episode, and then we'll do some other things. But yeah, for right now, we just have to fight out this blood moon because I couldn't continue playing without showing you guys this because this is kind of a... M major first event in Terraria. Oh, come on, die. There we go. There we go. What is the tombstone doing? Um, did, did I break? Put the bed down quickly. Nope. Set the spawn. Come on. Let's go fight a dribbler because those look interesting. Uh, only 100 health, too. Demonized have 120. Hmm. What is dribbler? Oh, but we're doing much less damage to him. I guess they have a higher defense. Alright, so let's see what these things are doing. Yeah, there's all sorts of new Blood Moon enemies, it appears. Yes, you can probably already see some of the obvious changes. I'll get to those in the episode. Come on, turn around. Respond, keyboard. Oh, and also there's a slight buzzing in the background, probably. Oh, hey, we got a zombie banner. Sweet. Do we have the effect of our zombie banners? I don't know. There's sort of this weird saturation and hue change over everything like the blue is purple and stuff look at that that's a green slime banner it's yellow and then oh man get up there yes i know it's different ignore it i'll i'll tell you guys about it dang it yeah there's some weird hue effect over everything do not kill my guide jeff jeff protect yourself jeff use your bow and arrow close the doors make that a useful feature for once come on he's fun there we go. Alright, um... Oh man. Jump up here. These guys have all my money. I should probably deposit that in my piggy bank. That is very close to my bed where I'm spawning. Uh, let me see here. What weapon can we use? That, that one. To burn them. Burn them all. Burn them. Burn Dang it. Oh man, there's so many zombies. We're only like a third of the way through it. Uh, it's only 10 p.m. We still have to survive till what? Five, six, seven? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, forgot to start the mouse tracking. I'm gonna do that real quick. There we go. Mouse tracking has started. That was a slight cut. But anyways, back to fighting this blood moon full of angry monsters that I don't really like. Um. All right, this is gonna be fun. There's an entire horde coming. Let's see if we can kill... I think we just killed a dribbler. So we'll see if we get any new drops. Oh, man. Come on. Fight him off, Joel. Fight him off. Fight him off. Fight him off. Get him. There we go. Oh, man. That was... That was close. Oh. Oh, yeah. They can still open doors, too. Thankfully, they can't open doors on expert mode by default. 
Um, good guy red. Come on, Jeff, fight back. Jeff, Jeff, get, Jeff, just let the professionals do it. Jeff, Jeff, save me, Jeff. Jeff, you saved me the first night. It's my turn to save you. You're kind of useless, though. Um, Jeff, can you open the door? Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna... Jeff! Jeff! Jeff, save me! Oh, thank you, Jeff. Okay, they can't get to us. So I'm just gonna fire a long... Oh, man. We created a zombie trap. Sweet. Look at that. Zombies can't do nothing. Oh, but they can jump. Oh, man. Jeff! Jeff, help! Jeff, help! Jeff! Jeff! Dang it. I see how it is. Jeff, just flee into the night. Flee. We're halfway through the night. Oh, man. It's 12 a.m. Jeff, flee before you die. Go, Jeff. Jeff, go. Jeff, forget your children. Go, Jeff. At least, at least we have a sword that can kill zombies and stuff. Man, these blood dribblers. They're interesting. Um, just fire one. Sparking! Jeff, Jeff, save me. Okay, we're just gonna fire with a musket that we got last episode into a crowd. Hey, we got a shackle. Jeff! Jeff, no! Jeff! Jeff! We lost Jeff! Jeff's gone. Jeff, our closest companion from the very first episode, who saved us in our first sacrilegious night. Oh, he's gone. We'll just have to kill infinite guides until we get Jeff back. And then we'll have to sacrifice him so that we can advance in the world. But that was planned anyways. I didn't actually want to kill Jeff. Yet. I kind of like Jeff. Jeff was a good guy. And now he's gone. He was murdered by a zombie. And he had AIDS. But more importantly, murdered by a zombie. Okay, these blood dribblers are interesting characters to say the least. Uh, I'm gonna need to go and talk to the nurse real quick. Hello, nurse. Yes, I know. New things. Don't question it. I'll get to it later. There we go. Alright, let's kill that demon eye. Uh, wand of sparking. Fire into the crowd. Get it? Fire? Because it's a wand of sparking. Ha. Anyways, yo yo to the rescue. I'm bring it in. There we go. Yo yo's are cool, man. They do a lot of damage in quick succession. Oh, uh, yeah. Get yo yoed. Oh, come on. Come on. Dang it. Dang it. Quick hotkeys. Mm, mm. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it before it's too late. Kill it. Get it. Get it. Oh, man. It's too late to. That one's dead. Okay. Come on. We have much more to the episode than just this blood moon. It's going to be great. We'll get to it in a minute, though. Because this is almost over. Where are you coming from? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, kill that zombie before the other one gets here. Hey, we got a zombie arm. 12 melee damage. We That does more than the, um, cactus sword. I'm just going to equip this for right now. Plus 9% speed. Dude! 12 damage, warps and cruel strike, fast speed, average knockback, average knockback, 10 damage, 7%. Yeah, we'll stick with- Oh, oh man. Oh, I thought it was auto swinging for a second there. Uh, come back here, dribblers. Come back. Yes, I know. I just bounced off the wall. I'll get to. I'll get to it in the episode, guys. Just we just have to finish fighting this off first. Oh, but man, this has a shorter range. Dang it. Yeah, we might have to go back to the cactus sword for the range alone. But we will see. Come on, respawn. Seventy-one silver. Oh my. Who who took the rest of my silver? Come on, die. Oh man, this is doing so much damage though. We'll stick with this, but we will we will have to get into range. Come on, come at me. I dare you. Give me my silver. Do you have my silver, Mr. Dribbler? 100 health? I seem to be... I, yeah, they, the Dribblers must have higher defense than the Demon Eyes. Because, yeah, he was carrying my silver. Oh, look at that. We've got over a gold. Get back here. I see you have some money. Give me my money back, you thief. How are, how do you have more range than me? We have the same sword. Oh man, blood zombie. Um, um, okay. Uh, do I have any recall potions on me? I do not. We're just gonna run for it. Try and get to our piggy bank. 
There we go. Let go there. There we go. And pay bank. Where's all my money? Oh, because I'm clicking on the dresser. Oh, gosh. That, that scared me for a second. Oh, man. That really scared me. Oh, yeah. Dressers have our storage spaces now. I remember. That's new. Oh, come, come on. Oh, yeah. And we can change our clothes in the dresser. <gasps> we made it! We made it! We survived! And we got an achievement. Bloodbath for surviving a blood moon. Man, that was intense. Let's go heal that guy. I see he has some money. Yes, I know. Grappling hook. Dang it! I'll get to it in a second. But wow, we survived the blood moon. That was intense. So, now, on to the actual episode. There's been many a change, many an improvement. That took me several hours yesterday, and if I'd recorded it, it would have been long and boring. And it's for the best that I just did off camera. So, what all changed? Well, for one thing, accessories. I got a. We got. I got climbing claws, and I got ice skates. And, um. Because I went exploring in an ice biome. I'll show you guys the map in a minute. And then I also got a grappling hook, because. It, we, we were actually able to get a grappling hook for a while. I just forgot to. I just finally made it because uh, I was going exploring. But yeah, that's a change. What else? Uh, zombie arm. I think I'm going to go back to the cactus sword because of the size. But we'll keep this for now. We'll, we'll see. Uh, what else? Oh, I placed the banners down in my room. Um, that's something I don't know if I showed you guys that last episode. And I placed a couple banners on the merchant's house. And uh, I built this little house hanging off the edge of the tree that is sort of the desert-themed house because I had some bricks. And the arms dealer is living here for right now. We'll get to that. I promise. We'll get to it. So the arms dealer is living there. And then the painter just kind of moved in here just while I was doing stuff. So he's living there, and I'm going to try and clear him out, get him a different house, because I really like that house. I think that the Goblin Tinker or someone should live there. And what else? Let's just quick snack some stuff to nearby chests. Other. Um, I'll show you guys where all I went exploring now in just a second, after I put down this zombie banner. Uh, Menacing Shackle, plus 4% damage. Wild Shackle, plus 1% melee speed. Where's... I had another shackle. I think we're gonna go with the damage one, because I think I have enough melee speed. Oh, got another radar. Don't know what to do with that, though. Um, Jake the guide. Hey, he's close enough to... There's just kind of a drip dripler right there as well. Um, potion stuff you guys probably don't really care about. Oh, I killed another pinky and got some pink gel and some money. Uh, what else? trying to think of everything. Oh, I made a clock so that we can tell the time. Um, and I made this heavy crafting bench so that we can make stone slabs, which are a really cool stone block. And speaking of stone slabs, I made, I'll show a picture of it right now, I made a um, logger's cabin. Oh, and it looks like Jake the guy's living here, but right over here there's a logger's cabin, which I would show, except it's quite far away, and it's kind of a little outpost uh, by these tall trees. Let's get Jake back. There, go live there. But yeah, I'll, there's a picture of that. It's also my Steam profile. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. We'll find it again in a future episode. And I'll show you guys where all I explored on the map real quick. So I explored, the first I had explored on this side was to this little desert cliff right here. I explored way past that, all the way just past this corruption. I found the dungeon. I didn't really do anything there. I wanted to say that. I found another living tree, but there wasn't any wand or anything in that. I found a meteorite, which we'll get to pretty soon. I found um, or I made this logger's cabin. And then I found these two cave systems. I haven't explored this one here, but I explored all uh, most of the way through this one, and it got down to the ice biome, and it's still going down Oh, there's some emerald I missed. I found an ice cabin down there, and I still need to explore this some more, and we'll do that eventually. But yeah, it, it was just, that was many hours of exploring, that was. And then on this side, um, I explored past the corruption, 
right around here. We'll get to that. I found this little cave, and this is the furthest I've explored to the jungle, where I found the jungle. So yeah, we've map. I've mapped up most of the world. We'll get to that this episode. Here's a second. But what else is there? I'm just gonna go kill that dribbler because that's kind of annoying. And hopefully Jake, the guy, will spawn in soon. Um, hello, Mr. Dribbler. Oh, that's multiple dribblers. Okay, can you give me monies? Sweet. Sweet. All right. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and while I was exploring, I found like two or three life crystals. Now we're up to 180 health. But yeah, um, and trust me, guys, if I recorded all that, it would have been like 10 episodes worth, and it, it the pursuits would just not have progressed. And I found this strange plant, and I caught a golden grasshopper and a golden squirrel. I don't know what those do. Uh, why they're special, they might be valuable or something, I'll check, but yeah, that's just something, um, and then there's something in the dope den that we have to go to, who do we go to, the dye trader with the strange plant, so here's, I have the fiery strange plant, we got negative dye, what is that, ooh, I'm, you have me both aroused and afraid, what is that line from, <gasps> oh man, that's so trippy. It's like inverting. It's like an invert effect in Photoshop. I'm just going to put. I'm just going to take that off because that's scary, and I don't like it. Anyways, red dye. And let's see here. Uh, how much? Oh man, these sell for ten gold. <sighs> should I or should I not? Yeah, might as well. Twenty gold. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to get into fishing for a bit. Um, so yeah, let's see these herb bags. Fire Blossom, Moon Glow, Death Weed, Shiver Thorn. Sweet, let's put all this stuff away real quick. Uh, we need a bigger potions chest. Because we have too many potions. Potent, potables. Work. We need to, we need to make more chests. Man. Where do I put this chest? Okay. I'll just rename this more... More stuff. Stuff with three Fs. Okay. Moonglow, Deathweed. Okay. Put that there. Um, let's put away this 20 gold. We'll get to the mini shark, guys. Hold on. Uh, 65 gold. Oh, my. Now, what else? Oh, yes. Down to the dope den. There's something there that I need to show you guys. I'll get to this eventually. That's going to be another NPC house for the um, demolitionist because he's kind of a dwarf sort of thing. Come on, speed up. There we go. I found another strange plant in the dope den. It's green this time. So let's harvest that up. There we go, strange plant. Uh, no popo have come by to visit yet. So let's head back to just eat that because I don't want it. Let's head it back to the dye trader, see what we can get for this strange plant. Come on, quickly. There we go. Oh wait, watch this. Come on. Open up. Oh, it won't work because it's facing the road. If I do it this way, sweet. I love that feature. It's so great. Not bug feature according to Russian programmer. Anyways, this grappling hook is so useful. Even though it's the very basic grappling hook. Strange plant. Red acid dye. Don't we already have some of that? Yes, we do. Anyways, let's go and put that back in more stuff. And now, for our adventure of the episode. Um, we have, or I, I guess, oh, wait, but first. But wait, there's more. We need to grab a recall potion. Um, and I'll see what else there's that we can do. Let's grab a recall potion from right there. 23 of them. And then we'll jump from the top of our house. You heard me right. Jump from the top of our house. Because over here in the desert, along this way, I just happened to chance upon a little desert pyramid. Uh, not the one that we found a couple episodes ago, but an entirely new one. So yeah, we have two pyramids in this world, which is rare, uh, especially considering there were no pyramids in our previous Terraria world, um, that being Let's Play 1.2. 
So yeah, we have infinitely times the pyramids that we had in our last world. And we still haven't explored the entire world. We still have um, probably another desert biome or something further along. I don't know. There's so much more to this world than we've discovered. Come on, kill it, kill it. Maybe Antleon mandibles will finally be useful in this update. Um, but yeah. Oh, I hear noise. There's the first pyramid we discovered. Oh yes, I also discovered umbrella plus grappling hook equals Just Cause 2 style grappling hook uh, combo. Because you can kind of use the grappling hook to move yourself along and the uh, umbrella to hold you up. So yeah, it's kind of like a Just Cause 2 style grappling hook. Really cool. I really like it. Anyways, we're going to fight the Eye of Cthulhu soon enough and we will be moving up in the world. We're doing quite well. I just need to get some shadow, ancient shadow greaves. So if any corruptors want to come by and uh, let me kill them for their rare armor sets, that would be fantastic. You, sir, you look like a worthy contender. Would you like to submit your body for science and shadow greaves? Please say yes. Come on. Give me greaves or give me death. He died. I didn't get death. Must get to the face. Uh, and use, use the Red Rider BB gun. The 100th Eater of Souls. Oh, it looks like the banner just appeared in my inventory instead of being a drop. That's new. Anyways, let's see here. Uh, let's just fire him to these guys. For just even the slightest chance at Greaves. Because I really want those Greaves. Nope, no Greaves. Oh, man. Whew, that was close. Uh, let's jump back up here. Boom. Long shot? Ah, close enough. MLG? Nope. Come on. Greaves. No, just rotten chunks. Anyways, uh, let's continue on to the pyramid. Before we get too, too much more distracted by the, um, the Eater of Souls. So, I'll tell you guys how I discovered this pyramid. I was in the desert and night was falling. I just made it through the corruption and I was in a new territory and um, it turned night. And I was just out in the open. There, I, I didn't have any lights and so I was just looking for a place to kind of sit and be able to whack zombies. And right up here, when we get to it, it's right up here. I'll continue the story. But I was climbing along, night was falling. And there's this pit. If I went down there, I surely would have been killed by zombies. So I was looking for a place to hide from the zombies. And I think that's a little cave. I haven't explored that. I found this little nook right here. And I sat here, and I hit zombies all night. And then I realized there's this little, uh, this little nook right here. Um, so I, was, I started digging down to it. And then, I, I dug up to him, like, hmm, there's nothing here. And then out of the corner of my eye, I noticed, wait, that's sandstone. And I discovered a pyramid right here. And I've left everything untouched in the pyramid, except for the vases, which my pick broke as I swung. So, we are going to break through. For the first time, we're going to discover what, the, what secrets this pyramid has to offer. Oh, yes, I just came up here and saw that there was an actual entrance to the pyramid. Um, let's see here, we have banners, we have copper, we have silver, more silver, we have a gold chest, more silver and gold, oh man, five gold, sweet, um, and we have this gold chest, what's in it, please don't be fair, it's close, please be like a sandstorm in the bottle, dang it, dang it, another set of Pharaoh's robes, well, at least we can sell them. That kind of... That sucks. Anyways. Let's just see if there's anything at the bottom, like a life crystal or something. Um, yeah, as you can see by, on my map, this is all new. I haven't explored down here yet. I just discovered the pyramid while I was digging a hole. But I think that's it. Um, I already showed the picture of the logger's cabin. Anything down here? A vase with no coin portal. And that appears to be it besides the altar. So anyways, let's head back up. Is there anything else we have to do? No, there's not. We'll go to the jungle and the dungeon another time. But let's use our recall potion before this episode gets too late. And 
Let's go to a little place called the Arms Dealer. I believe it is time that we purchase a little gun that normally people can't get until the Wall of Flesh, but we're just gonna get it before we've even defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, the Mini Shark. Three, two, one. <laughs> Mini Shark, there goes. Half our gold, completely awesome achievement. Let's get a bunch of musket balls as well, because we are going to be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu with this. So there's that. There's some gel. Another achieve, uh, achievement unlocked. Sweet, let's just get two stacks. And we still have plenty of money left in the bank for others, other things. Um, so yeah. There we go. Did I, do I already have an Eater of Soul Spinner? I do, don't I? Yes, I do. So. I think, I think that's it. There's the musket. We can put that in our weapons slash ores chest. Mini shark, just regular mini shark. Sweet. So let's see here. What else is there? Um, already showed logger's cabin. Already showed everything I explored. Jake the guide is still not back, but the logger's cabin I'm really proud of. So yeah, Jake the guide should be coming back soon. So these guys. That's it for this episode of Trader 1.3HXW. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Tomorrow will be an episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. And I'm probably going to go see Ant-Man as well. Next episode of Trader will be Wednesday. So thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. And thanks so much for 5,000 subscribers. I'll talk about this more in another video soon. The 5,000 subscribers special went up yesterday. It is Star Wars Battlefront 2. There's going to be other things to celebrate 5,000 subscribers. But for now, this is all the time I have. I'll see you all next time. If you like the video, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. And goodbye.